You know, I'm proud of my team. I, I thought the second 20 minutes of Indiana, we played Penn State basketball. The first 20 minutes today, I thought we played Penn State. If we could put those, if we could put that together, that's who we are. And I've been telling you guys that all year. Th this team still can get better. If you can put those two halves together, that, that's the that's the vision I have for Penn State basketball in this group this year. Uh, really proud of Miles. Took a lot of courage to want to take that shot um, when I told him what we were going to do. Uh, we, we thought if they didn't help on Lamar, he would at least get to the free throw line. But we knew they were, they were over help. There was a bunch of guys in the lane. And John Harris set one of the best screens uh, to get Miles open. And then to be able to execute defensively what we want to do against Geo Baker to make sure he gave the ball up. We weren't going to make that mistake uh, like we did at Illinois. So the guys really were dialed in, even though they went on. <laughs> we were in a storm. Man, were we in a storm in that second half. And give Pikes credit, man, what he's done at Rutgers. And I told the guys at halftime, look, you know Rutgers, I know Rutgers. They're not going away. This is what they do. This is how they play. And uh, you know what? Unfortunately for, for us, it came to fruition. Uh, but there's a lot of lessons to be learned here. And we'll watch this film. We'll get better. And uh, definitely need some, some guys to rest up. Um, we definitely looked a little fatigued there in the second half. Uh, My Miles had made some huge shots for you guys in the eight-game winning streak, and then his shooting fell off, and now he makes this one. What is it about his personality that he can persevere through all these highs and lows and still have the, as you said, the courage to take that shot? I just think it's confidence. He knows that I'm confident in him. He knows the players are confident in him. Uh, so, you know, when you have a green light like that, and when he came off that, as soon as he left his hand, I, you knew it was in. It was just great rotation, down ready shooter, uh, great delivery by Brock. Uh, but I think, again, I go back to confidence and uh, knowing that's his role in this team. Your role in this team. And, and now we've evolved his role since MJ's been out. We've evolved his role. He has seven assists today. I thought the way he made some great, uh, made some great decisions off that ball screen was critical to get us the lead at 42-24 in that first half. Pat, what allowed your team to sort of stay the course once Rutgers did make that run? When they got up to 51-50, you guys didn't allow them to get the lead until very late and sort of stayed steady there. You know, the huddles were about attitude. You know, next play, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Play to win. Play to win. Um, we, we have more to give. Some of the phrases I may have said in those huddles. Um, and, and they believed in that. And they stuck to that. Um, you know, it's always a challenge when a team's going on a massive run like that. And how do you stop it when you get to the free throw line? Well, now you're not making free throws. So there, there's some challenges there. But I, I think me being calm and poised, I think, helps the team more than me compounding the problem of screaming and yelling and saying you're not playing hard now, turning the ball over, and we're making all these mistakes. You know what? We'll worry about the mistakes on film tomorrow. Right now, keep playing with confidence. Belief is a word I think that has threaded its way through the season. When you've got a guy like Miles, who it's not the first time you've told him to shoot it when he hasn't been making it and it's worked out well for you, how much do you think belief is kind of a word that has found its way through this season? No question. Uh, I'm, I'm, look, Lamar Stevens group, Mike Watkins, these seniors, um, when they first came here, maybe that belief wasn't as strong as it is today. But they believe that they're going to go out and win every every single game. I mean, we showed that at Indiana by taking a six-point lead. I mean, things were going against us in the second half here. Look, the Big Ten is so good. It is so good top to bottom. It's incredible. It's a gauntlet. But they believe that somehow, some way, we're going to draw up a play or we're going to get a stop and somebody's going to get a rebound to secure this victory. Lamar rarely looks tired. He looks tired. Where is he sort of at physically in that regard? It's another, another reason I'm so proud of this team. Even when Lamar's not at his best, other guys, without MJ as well, other guys stepped up, like Brockington today. Man, we needed his production. I think it actually hurt us when he cramped up and was out for a few minutes. They, they could continue going that run where he made a 15-footer. He uh, had an N1. Like He made some really good plays for us getting downhill. So it was great to see, great to see him. But Lamar now has real confidence in his team. Like, I don't have to be the hero every night. You spoke to the belief of this team, but how hard is it to get over blowing an 18-point lead? You're down two, and you got to execute. You got one chance to execute a play. How hard is it for a team to get to that point? Yeah, it's the huddles. It's the leadership. It's constant, um, you know, being positive in the huddles, 
instead of worrying about the negatives of what the situation now has become, it's really about the next possession. It's really about the next play and try to win those couple possessions. You know, at that point, it's no more four-minute game. It's, you know, just win this next possession. You know, defend and rebound. And down here, try to execute at an A level. And we're in the double bonus, try to get ourselves into, you know, try to get ourselves to the free throw line. Pat, you mentioned on Monday that you can't be a great team if Lamar's the only one scoring the points. Tonight, he took only one shot in the first 15 minutes. Is that something you guys talked about, or is that more a byproduct of Lamar taking what's given to him? I think it's a byproduct of Rutgers and what they did to him. Um, there wasn't any space out there for him. And, you know, him and I talked last night after film. It was about, look, they're going to crowd you. Just, you know, trust your teammates. You might have to give the ball up, and that's okay. We'll try to get it back to you. And just be opportunistic with your with your decision making. Um, so he's thrilled in there. He, he's thrilled. He's so fired up for this team, fired up for Miles. Coach, you talked a lot about your production without uh, Myron. What is his status? Does he just need to get gain some weight after his illness, get back in game shape? What's that timeline looking like? I'm just listening to the docs right now. So when they tell me he's a go, we'll be fired up. What are the challenges of turning 18 into 24 or 30? Excuse me? Your 18-point lead, what are the challenges of turning that in to, to extend that after I think about 18-year-olds and trying to get them to play older nope. more, with more savvy. Nope. <laughs> um, it's so hard in this league. We just did it to Indiana, but we went up six. Fortunately, we kept it close. Um, this league is just so good. So good. I mean, every night, if you're not playing at your best, if you don't give your best 40 minutes, you're going to find the other end. So we didn't play our best, but we found a way. And we did enough in the second half to, to look, it's in the left hand side of the column. It's a win. And you know, we can sit here and talk about, hey, you blew a 21 point lead, 18 point lead. Bottom line is, we won. We won 21 games, and we won 11 in the Big Ten. So let's be positive. Not that you're being negative. <laughs> That's not your style, Nate. Great conversation. Any other coach questions for Coach James? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Coach. We Call me up. You got the David Jones box. Yeah, I'm not going to Hey, thanks to the class for coming out. I appreciate it. Thank you.